Fort Worth Zoo. Over here. <laughs> feet away from the reptiles and amphibians, there's this little lab. If you're not quite sure what you're looking at, that's because you've probably never seen this before. A toad getting an ultrasound. Of all those speckles you see are eggs. To prepare to reproduce through IVF. People are surprised. Allison Julian facilitates the toads in vitro fertilization at the Fort Worth Zoo. Gets a lot of questions. The first, why on earth do toads need IVF? We can keep the animals that are in the wild in the wild. See, these aren't just any toads. They're Houston toads endangered in Texas. By taking the sperm but leaving the toad, the population continues to grow and the zoo breeds more, a lot more, because the lady toads they get to work. Hey, they lay pretty quickly and they lay a lot of eggs. Which leads to the second question, how on earth does she do it? It's a lot less scandalous than people think. The Male toads, Julian told me, release sperm in their urine and urinate when they're scared. And so what we will do is we will maybe bark at the toad. Julian freezes that sperm. This is our genome bank. Drop it into the liquid. Puts it in a tube. These canes here and these goblets. Mixes it in a petri dish with female toad's eggs. So you can see that they're very small. Once fertilized, they grow fast. Eventually, they hatch as tadpoles, grow into these tiny, tiny toadlets. It's a unique job, and if you can't tell, a lot of work. Julian says it's all worth it. The zoo releases eggs back into the wild to keep the Houston toad alive and keep our food chain and pest control healthy. In Fort Worth, I'm Sydney Persing. <clears throat>